I've only been with ground cover for a few short months. And, and before that, I had seen customers and salespeople alike jumping over to ground cover. Um, and I really wanted to find out why. why. Why is it so different? How are companies able to find so much immediate value out of the platform? So a little story about that. There's there's this company, they're, they're an e-commerce platform. Uh, I won't name them, but you know, safe to say they're a very expensive way to, to save money. And, and I mean that as a compliment to them. Um, so they had they had CloudWatch and it was doing its best to, you know, keep an eye on their EKS environments. Uh, it, it wasn't completely cutting it, not to say that, you know, everything was on fire per se, but they're a smart team and they had their eye on the market for what might be better. Uh, so just to dip a toe in, they deployed one of their clusters and they saw it light up like a Christmas tree within minutes, giving way more value. Um, compared to what they've been seeing out of CloudWatch for for months, and these guys became customers within four days of of being in the platform. Um, and you know, not not only did they get much more value functionality wise, since Ground Cover isn't you know factoring in data volumes at all, their licensing costs with Ground Cover landed in the five figure range. But you know, these guys ingest multiple terabytes a day of logs, and that would land them mid high seven figures if they had chosen you know one of the countless vendors that base off of volume like you know datadog or, or whoever else um so they were able to find really really quick value and it was very i guess gratifying for me to to see that firsthand and, and be involved in it um it, it just really goes to show how easy ground cover is